hi you guys what's up welcome back to my channel i'm back with another reaction video the knockout king this is a highly requested one you guys said that i have to check out george foreman the guy that mike tyson didn't want to fight but to be fair george he did not want to fight mike tyson either understandably but i really enjoy watching these documentaries together with you guys i will have the link in the description to the original one because i love these board film docs but i'm gonna stop rambling let's get straight into this reaction video all right let's see i'm so excited the devastating power of george foreman is something of a legend big george foreman in his career he's copied the baleful stare of the man who once was his boxing hero sonny Liston. Before Mike Tyson, there was Foreman, a mountain of a man, who scared opponents and spectators alike. Get it, and he is knocked Jeez. out. George Foreman wins his first professional fight. He claimed what was once considered the greatest prize in sports, twice, as two different fighters two different human beings. Oh, wow. Let me get a sip. Raised in Houston's Fifth Ward. An infamously impoverished community riddled with crime and violence. It's such a shame when you're so poor and you don't want everyone else to know that you're so poor. The oh. Really, you're not poor, you're poor. It was here, Foreman became the king of the street fight. Because I kept fighting, getting into fights, picking on people, pushing around. I, I was a bully. Foreman found refuge and purpose inside the square circle. He began training at age 17. Then all of a sudden, uh, you get into boxing where anger is applauded. Who got you involved in boxing? That was a trainer, Doc Broder. The 1968 Olympics were only a year away, but Doc promised to make George one hell of a boxer. As a young man, he was regarded as one of boxing's most brutal contenders. His sparring sessions aren't just a training routine. They are instead intense efforts by sparring partners to simply survive a three-minute round with a man whose punching power is frightening. 1967, I had my first boxing match. I mean, that's well, as you have seen, we have some young bombers to prepare for the Summer Olympic Games in boxing. I wanted by knockout. It inspired me to be going to be a Golden Glove champion in San Francisco. First time I'd ever heard his name. George was brand new. He had only been in a boxing ring for a couple of months at that time. Oh, George geez. raced through the Golden Gloves and into the Olympics. Coming from, you know, oh, George, right now, is beautiful. Where his uncanny power was too much for even the veteran fighters. George Foreman wins the gold medal of the 19th Olympiad. For Foreman, Boxing was a means to lift himself out of poverty. How much Foreman has progressed since his Olympic days remains to be seen. You know, even though you were having all this professional success at that time, you were pretty Deep. angry. In his first 40 fights, he knocked out 92.5% of his opponents. Foreman with a left that is like a lamppost. A recurring piston, if you will. The three that really scared the hell out of everyone were Sonny Liston first, right then George face. Foreman, who was like yep. an improvement on Sonny Liston, and then Mike Tyson. Yep. George mimicked his persona after the great Sonny Liston. I met Sonny Liston. He became my role model. He had to be the most angry fella I'd met. He'd look right through you. He had this very forbidding, intimidating, utterly hostile manner about him. I came to believe early on that George had acquired some of Sonny's characteristics directly from Sonny. He learned how to glower, and he learned how to punch. George is doing What's his glower? best imitation. I, I know Sonny punch. Liston. All of a sudden, you have this stare coming at you. George Foreman. He wanted to scare his opponents to be seen as a monster. It worked. Oh, when I was in the ring, you really saw the best of me. Outside the ring, I was really some terrible fellow because I did some things to people that mostly... In the ring, I'm not ashamed of my boxing matches, but outside the ring, some of the things we did, I did. I'm ashamed of to this day. He said over the years, he became more... Soft and... 
that's the direction we should go in. Don't change. You know. I thought that with my fist, I could knock any man out. The media, his peers, and the fans I believe... all viewed him as the villain, the monster, who hurt and punished his foes with little remorse. Corbin's dynamite power in both hands is making him the scourge of the heavyweight division. George Foreman is now the number one contender for the heavyweight championship. And the question is, who's going to stop this Foreman steamroller? It looks like Muhammad Ali and even champion Joe Frazier will have to make room for this Houston Tornado, George Foreman. In his first title All fight, right, Peter Ali. Foreman would be pitted against fan favorite Joe Frazier. Frazier had recently Gold. defeated Muhammad Ali and was viewed as the far superior boxer. Conventional wisdom heading into the Frazier fight was that George was a raw sort of rookie without the depth or the background to beat a great fighter like Joe Frazier. Scoring 34 knockouts. He's six feet four and has a reach of 78 and a half inches. George Foreman, the challenger. Because Joe Frazier had beaten Muhammad Ali and was undefeated, they didn't see how this young kid could win. He was undefeated and was coming off the Ali win, and he was a three and a half to one favorite. I must you. And then they were Foreman. Frazier, watch out! And then he's got these hands that are literally like canned like hands. Yep. And he just. Thunk. George was powerful. There's no doubt about that. I mean, he was out there to hit me. His power seemed to be a weapon unlike any of the sport had seen. Even the greatest of the boxers so could not stand up to him. It was absolutely devastating. No one could believe it. And from that point on, George was regarded as invincible. Look at George! Like, you just... If you miss the first, he's gonna hit you, you in the second. Death charges on me, man. Look like I you're gonna be divided. Divided. Foreman demolished the great Joe Frazier, knocking him down six times. Ah, oh, it's cold. Like, what? He just throw him around. You this guy beat Ali. He's the hardest puncher Ooh. ever. Frazier has never taken this kind of punishment. All I had was this one punch. And if I could hit you with you, I would hit you with it. I could take you out. If I miss you, you'd win on decision. <laughs> it's target practice for George Brum. And remember how he knocked Joe Frazier upside his head when Joe Frazier literally tried to run away from him? To be heavyweight champion of the world, as soon as it happens to you, it's like uh, John L. Sullivan, uh, Braddock, all the Joe Lewis, Rocky Marciano, <laughs> Bohem. It's like they all just uh, look at the right smile. We you. see the you smile. Moment, People calling him you feel, I all am these the things. Champion of the world. Look at the smile. George was now a celebrity. There the you go. was besieged by reporters. It's that those hey. guys were Tony Tubbs and guys like that. It was Joe Frazier. And Kenny Norton. Yes. Frazier had split two yes. fights with Ali. I never thought that Mike Tyson was the scariest in his prime, the scariest fighter. The person that I thought about was George Foreman. Well, to be a boxer number one, you gotta be stupid. <laughs> you gotta halfway be crazy. We think we are likely That's... to have a slug fest. We don't expect the fight to go all the way. And that quick punishing right floors him for the second time. And any of his fights when he, when he scored oh, those big knockouts, so he would really here. brutalize the, the guy before game. he got them out of here. Woo! Final knockdown takes place. Look at Roman's eyes, utterly glazed. Foreman with that impassive face. Now, Foreman's being acknowledged as the winner. Roman still cannot get up. Kenny Norton had split two fights with Ali, 24 rounds, and was Ali was lucky to win the second one, and he broke Ali's jaw, and Foreman knocked mm. them both out in two rounds. And then turned around and lost to <laughs> Muhammad Ali, 12 it's rounds, and a split I decision back in September. A combination of cheers and head like balls, definitely the favorite here. As far like as the six, crowd is concerned, is Ken Norton. As far as the odds are concerned, it's George Foreman. Is. The most menacing heavyweight of all time. It would be George Foreman. I was going to be the best heavyweight that ever 
existed. That he is with Ken Norton, and the reason for that, of course, is that he doesn't like George Foreman one bit. Do you really believe, Ali, that he yeah, can beat man. this man? Yeah, man. Yeah, the man went 24 rounds with me, broke my jaw in the first round. I was in shape and sock and fight. In those days, he was a bully. The people around him were afraid of him. Foreman had really brutalized the people. But that's all he knew. That's how he was in him. the streets. He gave me he brought as that fast as I'm as and as I am, to I couldn't whoop Ken Norton. Make it I had beaten took the that best in Joe Frazier. No doubt about it, I had beaten the best. The scene, the box. People had something to say about that. I said, you know what? I'm going to kill one of these fellows. Then they'll shut up. Fighting it to me, like too. Norton has really been... Foreman was a guy who destroyed Frazier, destroyed Kenny Norton. Whipped by Kenny Norton, I knocked Kenny Norton out easily. Oh, wow. Once again, yeah. he found himself in great demand. The WBC and the WBA mandated the fight. The public She's certainly so wanted calm. it, and the media Let's clamored see, just... for it. I think George Foreman will knock Muhammad Ali out Finish them off calmly. Ali's career. Uh, the boxers were scared. Handlers were scared. The only R. person R. that didn't appear scared of Foreman was Ali. The foreman that fought Ali, 40 and 0, 37 knockouts. Undefeat, unbeatable, the guy's never gonna lose. Everybody was scared, but Muhammad Ali himself. And Ali is getting the people to expand. Ali, boy, that means Ali, kill him. Let's go. Have you fought many guys who were talkers in the ring? No one never get a chance to talk much. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of time you get to know a fella, it's all over. As for the fight itself, discussion centered not on who would win, but on how much punishment Foreman would dish out. The time may have come to say goodbye to Muhammad Ali. And now we understand that George Foreman is about to make his way to the ring. Because very honestly, I don't think he can beat George Foreman. Cosell was convinced wow. that Ali was washed up. This guy was the talent to go to a very human different character I, I'd ever seen before. He was certainly the scariest boxer. Look at this now as they stare. Muhammad Ali beginning to talk to George Foreman. They're really putting the stare on each other. I looked him in the eye to stare him down and said. Oh, George, you were in school when I was beating Sonny Liston. Gone in the past four years, beyond two rounds in any fight. Oh, a pass thrown by George Foreman. He knew that the one weakness in, in this monster who was thought of as unbeatable was his stamina. The first round, all of us yelled out, get off the rope. And he would just say, shut up, I know how to do it. Well, I would say that the, the round was very even for that team. And Ali totally got into the guy's head, and he didn't even realize it. It was Muhammad Ali's fertile mind that created the rope of the. Here we go, round number two. I want to see that. Ali got like a... in between rounds. George Foreman sat down all the way. Ali leans on the rope. Quick to the feet, trying to get. Starting second or third round, when he went to the ropes, he was calling Foreman all kinds of names, any name of ugliness you can think of. He just can come to talk. Definitely serious. Ooh. He fought just like a, your initial bomb, just lay on the rope and take a No rope. way, this is the this one time, Ali is gonna knock him out, I think. He said, hey, I'm gonna weather this I don't remember. The rope for dope uh, was something I think was invented by Muhammad out. Ali that night. I must say, I don't understand those tactics, Joe, staying on the ropes and letting him hit It him. just shows you the power of intellect and intelligence and how that can compete that scene, against though. anything. And believe me, I was a big, powerful giant in the ring with Muhammad. I mean, a knockout on him. Remember the scene. I totally forgot how it ended. Look at him whispering in the ear of Foreman. George Foreman, so young, so strong. Not supposed to do, leaning up against the rope. Four punches downstairs on Ali. So fearless. I had him beat, I really did. And really thought I had him beat up in the body, had him tied. Continues to talk. Continues what did to I say, Ali? Ali? That's a way with his opponents, one after another, in less than three rounds. George not going that type of distance a long time. He was treading in water, you know, never been in before. This is the furthest that George Foreman has gone in a fight since 1972.
Misses the right hand. Ali is definitely confusing him. Missing the shots that he missed, it drained him. Look at Foreman's face, he does look tired. Nobody knew the strength of Muhammad Ali. He was manhandling, just like Archie said, grabbing him, and he emptied the guy's tank. I was afraid he was going to get killed by a George Foreman that many of our young viewers don't know. So big and muscular, he tired him out. Ali! I thought he was hurt. I thought his body was hurt. He came yes, back. Yes. He hit one with everything and winked yes, at me. Yes, there's oh. no doubt about it. He went right over here to this corner. You know, the guy really was the people's choice. And he was the people's choice because he loved them. I'd hate to predict it any fight, but my goodness, those people who said Foreman would win in a flash have certainly been proved wrong. Then about the seventh round, he asked me, that all you got, George? That, that was like a nightmare. I couldn't believe it. I just knew I was going to knock him out in a few seconds. And after eight rounds, I am laying on the canvas, listening to a referee. I was embarrassed. I got goosebumps. I got goosebumps. I got goosebumps in my legs! In my legs! Yes! Ali, the legend, the gold. The most devastating thing in the world. Right, to lose Ali. The coveted heavyweight championship of the world. I'd worked so hard to get it. And it doesn't, you really, your life is going to change wow. once more mm -hmm. wow. from all of this confidence and to devastation. He was beaten mentally more than physically. I come home and I was angry for a long time. I figured I'd been betrayed so by my managers. I'd been given things in my water, the road for loose. I had all the kind of excuses that filled me with hatred and revenge. I felt like I'd lost everything, not just the championship of the world, but I'd lost myself as a man. Many have felt that wow. Foreman's psyche was materially damaged by the disaster in Zaire of 15 months ago. Foreman's stamina having become suspect in the Zaire effect. After the defeat, the mystique of Foreman had vanished. The intimidating bully destroyer of worlds persona was replaced by questions about Foreman's boxing skills. If Foreman is to come so back good. and get another he, shot at the crown, he must win this fight. Like and it would help to win it impressive. The face of George Foreman and for that matter of Ron Lyle, each speaking for itself. Just look at this. Very close. Immediately be tested by fellow brawler Ron Lyle. We're about to bring you what we think promises to Las be a slugfest, a legitimate a heavyweight contest. One of the great back and this forth the first wars one after he lost? in boxing history. A good right by Lyle, and he's got Foreman in trouble. He's got him in trouble. I was hit so hard I didn't even feel it until I hit the canvas. Foreman is down. It started with a right and a left. I've never been hit so hard in my life. Now Foreman's fighting back. Foreman trying to hold together. Now, now George struck back. Now. There you go. Now George fought back with a magnificent That's right. Right. Every boxing match, world title match, would have ended like George Foreman, Run Lyle, heavyweight title match, there wouldn't be any UFC. <laughs> <laughs> some punches, and just speaking in general terms, you've said some punches are so ferocious that they don't hurt. They actually will interrupt communication between the tower and the ground. Foreman goes down! Foreman goes down! Wild fights back! Again, if only it had hurt, I would, have got, would not have gotten up. It just, it was like it, you are no longer the same person. You see your legs wiggle, and you're not in control of yourself. Now Lyle is hurt! Now Lyle is hurt! Eagles. What an incredible fight! Oh, he's tired, he's done, he's finito! Just punching away! Each fighter in yeah, turn, leaving himself open! He's not coming back. Oh, whoa, 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 he's a boxing bag! This time it may be over! This time it may be over! Lyle's not going to make it. Lyle's not going to make it. A knockout in the fifth it's round. A punching bag. spectacular fashion.
but the rematch with Ali was not given. George, you think Ali's maybe backing down from a, another meeting with you? There's no telling what he's doing. I would love a rematch. I was fueled by a lot of anger, and I walked around with that for years. Wow. Journey where he came from, where he's at. Like, it's only your mind at the end of the day. Instead, he would do battle with Joe Frazier again. much like the first fight. Ah! George Foreman wins in the fifth round by a technical knockout and dreams a whole new dream. Another match against Muhammad Ali. In my go. mind, there only exists one piece of tension and that's for the heavyweight championship of the world. And I do like, I would like to avenge the only defeat I ever had against you know who. I'm not gonna give him no publicity. Still the rematch with 